What if you could relive the golden age of real-time strategy games, but with a modern twist that keeps you on your toes? Imagine commanding an army of pixelated soldiers, tanks, and planes across dynamic battlefields, all while jamming to a killer retro soundtrack. This isn't just another nostalgic trip, it's 9-bit armies a bit too far, where classic RTS mechanics meet fresh, innovative gameplay that's as challenging as it is fun. If you've been longing for a game that captures the spirit of the RTS greats while offering something new, this might just be the perfect battlefield for you. At first glance, 9-bit armies a bit too far might seem like a simple nostalgia trip, especially if you've played the original 8-bit armies. The voxel art style is back, giving the game a charming, retro feel, reminiscent of the classic Command & Conquer days. But don't let the pixelated graphics fool you, there's a lot more going on under the hood. This game is all about strategy, but it keeps things accessible, making it easy for newcomers to jump in while still offering depth for seasoned players. The two main factions, the Overlords and Sentinels, each bring their unique playstyles, forcing you to adapt your tactics depending on which side you're commanding. It's the classic RTS formula of base building, resource management, and strategic unit deployment, but with enough innovation to keep it from feeling like a rehash. Let's talk about the campaign. You start with the Overlords, and soon enough, you'll find yourself deep in a 12-mission journey that's more than just a simple march to victory. Each mission offers multiple objectives, some straightforward, others more challenging, like protecting a critical piece of infrastructure or completing tasks under a tight time limit. The campaign is designed to be replayable with a progression system that lets you carry forward tech and unit upgrades from previous missions. This adds an almost roguelike element encouraging you to revisit earlier levels with new toys at your disposal. If you prefer teaming up, 9-Bit Armies has you covered with a full co-op mode. It's a blast tackling the campaign with a friend, strategizing together to outmaneuver the AI. The skirmish mode is also worth mentioning. Whether you're squaring off against AI bots or other players, the game supports up to 8-player battles, making for some chaotic and exciting matches. One of the standout features of 9-Bit Armies a bit too far is its soundtrack. Composed by the legendary Frank Klepacki, who's best known for his work on the Command & Conquer series, the music in this game is nothing short of phenomenal. It effortlessly switches between upbeat, 8-bit tunes and heart-pounding tracks that will get your adrenaline pumping as you command your troops into battle. Visually, the game is a treat for those who appreciate retro aesthetics. The voxel-based environments and units are vibrant and detailed enough to keep things visually engaging, yet simple enough to evoke that classic RTS feel. The destruction physics add an extra layer of satisfaction when you see entire structures crumble under a barrage of missiles. No game is perfect, and 9-bit armies has its quirks. The simplicity that makes it accessible can sometimes be a double-edged sword. Veteran RTS players might find the gameplay a bit too straightforward, especially in the early missions. While the campaign is fun, some may find the mission variety lacking after a while, and the AI, though competent, doesn't always offer the most challenging opposition. Another area that might divide players is the pacing. The game is designed to be quick and snappy, which is great for those short on time, but if you're someone who enjoys long, drawn-out battles of attrition, you might feel like the game rushes you along. So, is 9-bit armies a bit too far worth your time? Absolutely. Whether you're a fan of the original 8-bit games or just someone looking for a solid, accessible RTS experience, this game delivers in spades. It's a love letter to classic RTS games, but with enough modern features and quality of life improvements to make it stand out in today's crowded market. We're giving 9-bit armies a bit too far a solid 8 out of 10. It's not without its flaws, but the combination of nostalgic charm, engaging gameplay, and that killer soundtrack makes it a must-play for RTS fans. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments what you think about 9-bit armies a bit too far. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!